Good morning, everyone! I hope the lighting is okay. I think it's getting there. The sun is finally starting to kind of come out. You know, I don't know why the sun doesn't realize that I have to film a video! Shame on you, sun. We will talk later. <laughs> Sounds like talking to my son, Galileo. Oh man! I know I asked you all on Instagram what you wanted to see a first impression slash review on first, the L'Oreal Pro Matte face products or the Rimmel Provocalypse lip things. Well, I would love to lie to you all and say it was the Rimmel stuff, but my skin, you guys. I forget that I need to change my Clarisonic head and it makes a huge difference. So like for a week, I was like, why do I have all these huge freaking zits on my face again? And then I'm like, mm, it's definitely been the three months since I put on my last Clarisonic head. So I'm gonna let my skin heal a little bit more before I put on new face products. I don't want to irritate it further. So until then, hopefully you guys can hang in there and just be okay with this Rimmel review. I think it's still gonna be a good one. I mean, they're both YouTube made me buy it. So I feel like equal happiness, excitement level. Like I said, I have got the Rimmel provocalypse to try out with you all. These have been getting rave reviews on YouTube. So being the lip product junkie that I am, I you know, I need to test this out. I got the color number 200, I'll call you. <laughs> I kind of like that all the names of these are kind of saucy and sassy. But yeah, let's see what Rimmel has to say about this product so that I don't goof up because I know there's like an application step by step that I have to follow. Rimmel London Provocalypse 16 hour kiss proof lip color. That is a huge, huge claim, Rimmel. I'm excited. Up to 16 hours of lip liberation, wild without a trace. Kiss proof, transfer proof, food proof, high impact, endless color. No tight feeling or dry lips. Lips feel smooth and moisturized all day long. Easy removal with an oil-based makeup remover. Step one, apply color and keep lips up part for 60 seconds, okay, until it sets, and then apply the top coat to lock the color, moisture, and add shine. I'm excited to try this out. Are you ready? It's been so long since we've been able to sing the theme song together. So here we go. YouTube made me buy it, and now I'm gonna try it. Yes! Oh god, I just, I wish I had a jingle for every single video. I don't know why, it just feels so god. Safety seal off, maybe? With my one janky fingernail where the polish just decided I'm just gonna all come off in one big sheet. Last night when I was applying my lip balm, it's not like I was doing anything crazy with it, but yeah, if you're wondering. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Color side first. I'll call you seems to be, from what I can tell on the outside here, pinky mauve pink 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 kind of a color. Zoom in. I told you guys. I warned you about my face. It's all in my central mouth area. I know. Trust me. It hurts me more, you guys. It really actually physically pains me more. <laughs> Thankfully these are on the mend. I've been putting Neosporin on them for like 24 hours a day. Anyways, here we go. The Rimmel Provocalypse. I've just got a typical doe foot applicator here. Doesn't smell the greatest, but you know, we'll work with it. <laughs> if only my lips weren't right under my freaking nose. Oh, that's the one coat or one dip I guess you can see it's definitely a little watery and didn't really get on my top lip there so I'm gonna go in for a second dip and fix that There you go, there it is applied. This is like the hardest thing ever for me to do to not smack my lips together because that's just, that's what I do. After I put on lipstick, I rub my lips together. But I'm being good. I'm letting this set for a minute here, just like it said, to make sure I test this out correctly. It really went on nice and buttery and creamy. Like it felt really nice going on. It was, like said, a bit watery, but nothing a couple coats didn't fix. So, okay, okay, I can feel it kind of tightening. I want to rub my lips so bad. Mm. I can kind of feel when I let my lips sit like that, they kind of stick together. Uh, see what I mean? All right, so it has officially been a minute here. I'm gonna see without the top coat. I'm curious to see how the transfer is. Mm. I got 
a transfer. Oh, camera doesn't like that. Doesn't want to focus on that. But I mean, maybe that was just in an extra loopy spot because obviously the rest of it didn't transfer. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this other side. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how I feel about that smell. It's like they tried to make it smell good. It almost has a vanilla-y, lemony scent, but mostly it just smells like chemicals. <sighs> Man, hopefully that goes away. So there's that. Can I rub my lips together now? Mmm, okay. It feels really good when I rub my lips together. It's definitely a very buttery feeling balm type of a thing. I was always curious, no one ever really showed it because it really doesn't matter, but it definitely does transfer the color a little bit onto the clear balm side, if you can see that. I don't know that that really makes any kind of a difference, but I was always curious. That was some snow falling down off my building, and now we all know. Yeah, there you go, you guys. So far, so good, I think. It feels like I have nothing on my lips, except when I rub them together, and then it just feels like a really nice kind of a lip balm. So I'm really liking it so far. We'll see how this wears throughout the day. Do I do a kiss test with the balm on top? I mean, I, I can. Ah, uh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah! So I'm very excited to see how this wears throughout the day. I think I just got some Galileo hair in there. Yep, I did. I've just got class. I'm gonna be painting in my studio for a little bit. I've got a meeting with my advisor. I've gotta get groceries and just some other stupid little errandy life type things that nobody really wants to do. But hey, that's life. And I guess I'm okay with it. I will just see you all whenever I check in with you all next. So I will see you then. Bye! baby Galileo. Let's see how the lip product is doing, shall we? My lips feel very dry and sticky. Oh, and here, we'll do a little transfer test. Still not transfer. The color is still there, I think, right? It looks a bit faded on camera, but when I'm looking in the mirror, it doesn't look quite as faded. I am going to go ahead and put on more of that balm that comes with it. feel so much better now that that balm is on. I've got a feeling that the key to this stuff is definitely reapplying that balm more often than every like six hours or whatever, however long it's been. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and shove some clementines in my face real quick here before my other professor gets here. I will just have my meeting with her and then I'm gonna go do my errands like I said and I will just check in with you all later on tonight. So I will just see you all then. Bye! currently 
12.07 a.m. I took my makeup off minus the lipstick and my brows. So if you're wondering, yes, that's why you can see the pain that I was talking about earlier this morning. You know, I just, I wanted to be able to let them heal while I was here at home. You know, why cover them in makeup when they don't have to be? I really haven't been doing anything interesting since I got home after my meeting with my advisor. I did some homework. I did some reading, which was homework. And then I've just been editing my best and worst of beauty video for you all for January. I feel so bad that it's going up late this month, but I've just I've been so busy. Uh, I hope you guys can forgive me. But the lipstick. So I wanted to do the full 16 hours, see how it does. And unfortunately, I think you can see that did not last 16 hours completely. But I mean, it did pretty darn good. Take you on a little walk here. Can you see it better here in the white light? It pretty much stayed on my full top lip. It just faded in the inside of my bottom lip there. Oh, and by the way, I had pizza for dinner, so I wanted to make sure that I ate something greasy to see if it held up through the grease. And I mean... <laughs> Pretty darn good, I would say, honestly. And the fact that it's been on for 16 hours, the fact that I haven't had to reapply a lipstick today, that's pretty freaking cool. Overall, I'm just a little conflicted, mainly because I feel like the balm that it comes with, that balm only keeps my lips moisturized for maybe like an hour, and then I have to reapply. So I feel like that stuff is gonna run out way before the lip product ever does, and then I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use other chapsticks or something over it. I think that's kind of a hassle. I feel like a lip product should moisturize for more than an hour, and also it's smells putrid. That top coat layer balm gloss thing. Absolutely bleh. But I mean, I think if you're looking for a drugstore priced product, maybe you have a special occasion or something and you don't have to worry about touching up your lipstick and you don't mind your lips feeling a little bit dry. I don't think my lips look too dry, but they definitely do feel dry. You know, maybe this would be a good choice for that. I just don't know that I will be purchasing any of the other shades purely because of this scent and like said because I need something a bit more moisturizing on my lips than this. Also another thing that I definitely did notice was that near the end of the night kind of around like 10 or 11 here it started to kind of like flake isn't quite the right word but it's kind of like when paint starts to chip it kind of started to do that along the inside of my mouth. I'm so tired. I started to do that along the inside of my mouth. However, you can see there's no transfer. Basically this one, it all comes down to personal preference. You were able to see throughout the day how it wore, so you can definitely decide for yourself whether or not this is going to be a product that you might or might not be interested in purchasing for yourself. As always, I just hope that the review was helpful for you. I hope it was enjoyable. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! Do you want to say anything? You came.